Hey everybody, it's Miss Pribble. Today we have a special guest reader, our fourth grade student, who happens to be my daughter, Jacqueline, will be reading for you The Bear's Picnic. It's about a fun little adventure about a dad who keeps trying to find the perfect place to have a picnic. And in the end, they found an awesome place to have their picnic. We hope you enjoy this book. The Bear's Picnic by Stan and Jan Bernstein. Mother Bear, put your apron away. We are going to go on a picnic today. Where are we going on our picnic, Dad? To the very best place in the world, my lad. Now you remember the spot, my dear? When we were young, we picnicked here. Papa, I do not like to complain, but your wonderful spot is next to a train. Where are we going now, Papa Bear? Is there another wonderful spot somewhere? Don't pester me with questions, please. Here's a place I know right in those trees. It is everything a picnic spot should be, and no one remembers it is here but me. What a spot, what a spot. So quiet, so cool, just as it was when I was in school. We had a picnic and I won first place for eating the most pie in a pie eating race. Pop, this spot may be very fine, but look what it says on that big sign. Big picnic today. Dad, can you find us another spot? Are we having a picnic today or not? Now stop asking questions. Be quiet. Stop stewing. Your father knows what he is doing. To pick a spot that is just the right one, you have to be very choosy, my son. Nothing can bother our picnic here. Our picnic... Lay out the picnic things, my dear. I do not like to say so, Dad, but another good spot has just gone bad. I hope there's another spot, another good spot you know. But how much farther do we have to go? Why don't you use your eyes, small bear? There's a perfect place right over there. The grass is green, the air is sweet. Lay out the lunch and and take a seat. Hooray, at last, we're going to eat. Well, this place is very good. I wasn't wrong, but I know one better. Let's move along. Now take this perfect piece of ground, no one but us, for miles around. Pop, you picked the best spot yet. But how can we picnic, picnic with that jet? I am very hungry, Pop. When is this spot picking going to stop? I am getting tired. My feet hurt too. Any old spot here ought to do. Please, Pop, please. Can't we picnic soon? It's long past lunch. It's afternoon. You have to be choosy, Pop, I know. But what's better up here than down below? What's up here? I'll tell you what. The world's most perfect picnic spot. As you can see, it is perfectly clear that nothing can bother our picnic here. No noisy crowds. No pesky planes, and no mosquitoes, trucks, or trains. Uh-oh. Dad, here come the rains. Pooh, rain to a bear is nothing at all. We'll picnic here and let it fall. Come back. What kind of bear are you, scared of a 
a drop of rain or two? Bring back that food. This place will do. It's dry in here. It's warm too. It does look warm. Yes, I agree, but it looks much, much too warm for me. Wait now. Wait. You wait for me. I'll find a better spot. You'll see. I find the perfect place to eat. I'll find a spot that can't be beat. The finest spot you've ever seen. Now that is the kind of place I mean. He did it, Mother. Did he not? He found the perfect picnic spot. The end.